watu wananunua mbuzi mzima wanaweka kwa fridge na hawana appetite us no fridge but no no need of Hata si fridge moja wako na fridge na freezer <laughs> mbuzi zinawekwa hapo but appetite hakuna lakini sisi fridge is not a necessity but appetite is a blessing <laughs> so we we are, we, are, we are blessed we are blessed wanaeswa <laughs> asifiwe kwanza saa hii token ziko na pesa namna hii hiyo haina shida nakaa tu because we are blessed of the lord eh wengine wanaenda kwa mahoteli makubwa ati eh wanapewa appetizer kwanza you after appetizer we don't look for appetite we, we, we don't do the, we are blessed eh anasema i will bless your water bless your food and keep you in good health do you know that pastor pastor Lidia, do you know what rodin told us He told us in America America consumes 70% of the medicine in the world. Madawa ni asilimia sabini ya dunia yote inaenda Marekani. Kila Marekani wa miaka 65 kuendelea juu anameza madawa ilikuwa ni sita ama ni tisa. Karibu madawa tisa kila siku. Kila siku. Na katika diary zao Majina mengi yale wameandika mwisho inaishia na doctor 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 Na akatuambia ye aliamini kwa sababu anapenda Mungu na anajua Mungu yeye anaishi huko lakini hataishi maisha kama hayo Na mimi nakubaliana na ye because the bible says that the word of god is healthy to our bodies Yes this word of god is brings health to our bodies Wanaeswa wasifiwe. Watch how wana consume hiyo madawa. Na kukunywa dawa si mbaya. But let me tell you. Tunashukuru Mungu kwa sababu ametubari wengine wetu hapa. Eh? Glass moja tu ya dawa ya Masai. <laughs> Kisha maneno. Ninaonanga Masai anabeba dawa. Si ni kweli? <laughs> Wanaeswa wasifiwe. Unajua siku moja tulienda kesha na akuru ikiwa na pastor Jogona na tukaenda kwa brother yake anaishi hapo na akuru akatukaribisha akatuambia mtakula sapa hapa tutaenda na nyinyi kesha na huyo brother ni pasta na wakati tunangojea sapa hapo haraka haraka akaleta mtungi na mnai akasema hapa kuna dawa ya milimani iko na asali hai namwambia hawa gani Wacha afungue kibuyu aweke kwa glass inanuka kabisa katina tukamuuliza <laughs> tukamuuliza jameni hii ndio kesha unataka twende <laughs> tukiwa kesha ukifungua mdomo <laughs> akatuambia hii kitu iko fermented lakini si si ya kulewesha dawa ya masai Peli kabisa akasema ukikunywa utasikia ikindu na tukabagain na yeye kidogo pastor Joguna akaniambia kami kakunywa kila mtu glass moja na ukweli haikutulewesha tatuana lakini harufu yenyewe Ina, inanuka ni kama muratina hata yeye anashangaa bwana Yesu asifiwe na akatuambia hii ndio Hani unaonanga Masai wangapi wanaenda ma hospitali ovyo ovyo akatuambia eh hey, hey. sasa tukasema hii plus the word of god from kesha we are done tumesaidika sasa huyu mzungu anatuambia kwamba these people are taking a lot of medicine and i'm not saying it's wrong to take medicine si madawa pia inaponya kwa sababu madawa ni Mungu amepatia wanadamu ekima ili dawa imsaidie But you know there is a situation that is worse. You become a slave of something. But this word of God comes to deliver us. When we are in Christ through the word, the holy communion, the fellowship with the Lord Jesus Christ, we are free. We are healed. We are delivered. 
in Jesus' name. And we receive the word of God. That is why I was saying that we are the heirs of God. Sisi ni watu ambao tunambeba mungu. Mungu wako ndani yetu. Kwa sababu ya neno la mungu. And the Bible says that we are co-heirs together with the Lord Jesus Christ. That we have an inheritance in the kingdom of God. Therefore, we need to stand on the firm foundation, the Lord Jesus Christ, through the word of God. So that we can have nobility. Nobility ni kwa nasema ya kwamba, sisi ni watu wa maana. Usijibebe na mna hii, kama wewe sio mtu wa maana. Wewe ni mtu wa maana. Hata kama unaishi kwa 10 by 10, wewe ni mtu wa maana. Kwa sababu huko hapo pamoja na mungu. Akikubariki na nyumba kubwa, anakaribia hapo. Huko na yeye hapo. Hali popote huko, mungu wako pamoja na wewe. Kwa sababu gani? Wewe ni mtu wa maana. Sometimes I try to think about what I hear and what I see. And I say, God help us. Let me tell you this morning, brethren. This nation, if it were not for the presence of believers, this nation would be worse. Kama sio wa Kristo, wako katika inchi ya Kenya. Inchi ya Kenya ingekuwa mbaya zaidi. Ingekuwa mbaya. Lakini kwa sababu ya wa Kristo kuwa katika inchi ya Kenya. Unapata kuona inchi ya Kenya imebarikiwa. In fact, wanainchi wenyewe ndi wajajua ya kwamba wako katika inchi imebarikiwa. Nasema gaivo kwa sababu, wa Somali walitupata hapa na wameshika. Wa Indi wako hapa na wameshika. Lakini wa Kenya wanazugumbia inchi yao vibaya, wanaribu. Wanasema hii inchi, hata hakuna chakula. Chakula hii. You cannot say there is no food and you are eating. There is food. Wanaesu wa sifiwe sana. Wanaesu wa sifiwe sana. Yes. And then we say there is no money. Yes, I understand. The economic challenges are there. But and we still living. Wanaesu wa sifiwe. So we are still living. Yes. We are still living. So we need to thank God for our nation. And declare that our nation is blessed. And we are also blessed. Because our nation is blessed. We are the heirs of God. We should not be a people who are complaining and murmuring. We need to stand on the firm foundation. The Lord Jesus Christ, our God and our Savior in Jesus' mighty name.